Hello, Patrick Walchuk here uh, with an update on the Ottawa real estate investment market. And this is the part where we select a building or two and we uh, break down the financials to give you an indication of what's going on in the market in terms of cap rates and uh, return on, on in, uh, the investment by investors. So let's get right into it. Um, and this month we've selected a couple buildings and one of them is a six unit building in the central Ottawa location. And we can see that the list price on, on the six unit was $1,780,000 and it sold for $1,616,000. The scheduled rental income on this was $100,000 and the effective rental income was $97,000. The stated operating expenses on the building were $19,000 and change and the total operating expenses when we add in management costs and a couple of other things uh, were almost $29,000. So knowing that we have a net operating income on the building of $68,000. So we can now calculate the capitalization rate once we got the uh, NOI on it, right? So the cap rate on this is 4.2%. And again, it's nice to see this because we've been uh, seeing low caps, which means a high price, you know, caps, 2.2 to 3.2 kind of thing. So this is uh, interesting. Operating expense ratios are really quite low. You know, the lowest that you're likely to see is about 25%. So this is very good. It's just a tad under 30. Uh, the multiple uh, times the gross is 17 times the net is 24. Now, the number, the re one of the reasons why we do that is we want to try to look at how much of a down payment does a purchaser need in order for the property to be cash flow positive? Because if it doesn't have a positive cash flow, it's going to be a big challenge to get a mortgage from a lender. So in this case here, interestingly, interestingly enough, it's only 41%. And we've, you know, just kind of gotten used to it being 50, 52%. So anyhow, 41%. Uh, that means the investor has about $663,000 as a down payment. And what that does is it creates an annual mortgage payment or an ADS annual debt service of $68,000. Now with that, that investor ends up with a positive cash flow of $376 and a return on their investment of 0.06%. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. Thank you.